Hey there, welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. Today I'm going to show you how you can create and save 100 different business cards in under two minutes using Illustrator's variables. So let's say you have to make business cards for all of the members of the United States Senate, or any other large organization for that matter. You've got your template set up, and now comes the tedious work of copying and pasting all of the different names, phone numbers, and addresses. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. I'm going to show you how you can let Illustrator do all of that work. So first I have my basic layout with my type styles and everything. I have the Variables panel open, and that's found under the Window menu. And first I'm going to select the Name line, then go to the bottom of the panel and click this icon to make the text dynamic. And by dynamic I just mean changeable. I'll do the same for the first line of the address. Then the city and the zip code is the same for all of them, so I'll just lock that. And then I'll choose the line for the phone number, and then the web address, and make those dynamic as well. So now I have four variables, and these are text string variables, as indicated by the T icon. If I double click each variable, I can give it a more descriptive name. Now I'll go to the flyout menu on the panel and choose Load Variable Library. This is an XML file that I've already prepared, which contains all the data for the 100 senators. I'll click to overwrite the text that's already on my template, and now if I go to the Dataset pull-down menu, there are sets for all 100 senators, and as I click through them, you can see that the text on the business card changes automatically. No copying and pasting required. So that's pretty great, but I still have to save each version and send the files to the printer. Luckily, that can be automated as well. I'll open the Actions panel, and I've already created an action to save the file in an EPS format. Now go to the Flyout menu and choose Batch. In this dialog, choose the action you want to use, and as the source, choose Data Sets. A lot of times you'll perform an action on a folder full of files, but for this, we want the data that we loaded into the Variables panel. For the destination, choose the folder you want to save them to, and you can see the folders path here, and then you can specify a naming convention for the files you're about to create. I'll choose Dataset Name, because each of my datasets is named with the last name of the Senator. Now I'll click OK and watch all 100 files change and save. You can see how quickly this batch is performed, and it would be even faster on a faster computer and with a different file format. But still, it only took two minutes to batch process 100 files. You couldn't even make yourself a cup of tea in that time. So let's back up and see how we get all of that information into an XML file. So I'll go back to those first four variables I created a minute ago. Once you have those set up, click this camera icon, which will capture those variables as a set. Now go to the Flyout menu and choose Save Variable Library. This will be the XML file that you'll hand off to a developer to populate with your data. If you open the XML file in a text editor, it'll look something like this. You can see in the code there are tags for the dataset name and the four different text variables we created in Illustrator. Your developer friend will take your list as a spreadsheet or CSV file and then turn it into an XML file that Illustrator can read. There are four things that can be dynamic in Illustrator. Graph data, which of course you probably won't be using on a business card. Text, as we've just seen linked images, and visibility. So let's say you wanted to make a batch of cards without the logo, or with a different color logo, you could turn the visibility on or off and not have to do it by hand. And not having to do things by hand is the whole point of using variables. Thanks for watching.